Hello everyone, my name is Steve. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Um, in this session, I'm going to be um, showing you something I've been working on here. Now, I can't promise there's any game in effect yet, but I'm hoping to create a scrolling type, at least a demo or something for now. I think we'll just start with the demo and kind of go from there. I wanted to show you what I have. Um, it's not perfect in any form. I mean, it, it works, but it's I'm still... It's not anywhere near where I would want it to be, so I'd like to show it to you anyways. This is the code for it. I'm using C64 Studio, and this is going to be a demo just to kind of show you how it works. Um, I think I have it loaded up here. Okay, so now I need to run it here, so let me just close this down. Okay, so it looks very similar to one you've seen before in BASIC, but this one is done in machine language. So right now, it looks like he's not doing anything, but as soon as you move the joystick or the gamepad left or right, it scrolls in that direction. As soon as you let go, it stops, of course. So the whole idea I want to be able to do is create a scrolling map. The way it works is um, over here in this corner, you can't do it over here since you have to do it right here, because you, otherwise you know, you'll get the jerkiness if you try to do the full screen. Um, right in this corner here, you're going to basically set in um, a new tile position and then you're supposed to be able to scroll it down the screen, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But now I've got the man moving in both directions and I have no idea why this is doing this. Um, something in the display or something. So this is why there's this is uh, empty over here because I wanted to add in that next character here. So here's the code for it. Um, it's very similar to the other ones you've seen me do in the past. This is the, the scrolling routine right here. Actually, let me just kind of explain how it starts. So these are the, the initialized variables. Um, this is so that it basically auto runs inside of um, Vice C64. And this is clear in the memory right here. This is actually taken 128 plus 69 times 256 which I'll show you what that does here um, so as I don't have my other thing up here so I'm just going to run this real quick so if I say um, 128 plus 69 times 256 it's 17, 17, oh actually you know what that's not right so let me just erase that anyway I don't need that actually so anyways what it does is it goes to clear memory which is down here and it's down here somewhere right here so what it does is it takes the sprites and it fills it in with zero so we don't have any leftover garbage basically all it does is this goes through 64 plus 8 so if you go back to the um, vice c64 and this time we'll do it this way 64 plus 8 times 256 it starts right at 2112 which is exactly where I started my sprites at right here. So it's going to go through and it's going to clear all these. Okay, the next thing we're doing is we're creating a character set here. And that's up here. You saw right here where it says clear memory and then it goes JSR to CH set or jump the subroutine for the character set, which is right here. I just had it up here earlier. This initializes the character set, all of this right here, up to right there. It allows you to draw the new characters. If you look over on this section, you might saw me earlier. These are many of the game characters I already have in the game. They're from the original space style. So anyway, okay. So the next thing we're going to do after we created our sprites and we created the character set, we're just going to initialize everything. This is the setup for the initialization. This is uh, Cullen all in the colors. I turned this off because I'm using this for horizontal and I can't um, I mean I hear I was trying to do multicolor but I can't use the multicolor anyway because I'm already using it I'm already using a horizontal re register so anyways um, the next thing here these are just setting up the multicolor positions the colors there uh, this is setting up the, um, the enabling the sprites Let's zoom in here a little bit more so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, this is more about setting up the sprites, enable sprites. This is multicolor for the sprites. Um, 
this is unused actually. This was uh, something I was doing earlier with trying to to control the sprite pointer. I mean, this pointer is like when he moves, for example. Let me go back to him. When he moves, his position changes like that. And there, I also have animations, sprite animations in here, but I can't seem to get that to work right now. So I thought I would show you that. Okay, so the next thing here, this is the routine. I found this on the internet and I modified it. It's just really, really cool. It's some kind of a text scroller. Basically what it does here, it takes advantage of this right here. Um, right here. 53266. This sets an interrupt and this checks the, the scan lines here. I set the openness to make this larger. And this works right in here. It stores everything in this 53 location and it stores everything in the defined scrolling and it does um the scrolls the light raster lines inside of here and then it activates 40 column mode here which is what you see me doing here and then you turn on your joystick and everything and this is um allowing the joystick to work directly inside of the the interrupt so that we can move the joystick backward and forward this is basically so pretty self simplistic uh left and right i turned off the up and down for now until I add more to it later. Um, this is setting up the sprite pointers. This allows you to see like when he's moving left and right here. If you're moving left or right, it just shows what the sprite pointer is going to look like there. Um, this is more the... Um, this is scrolling the pixels. So like when you see this scrolling over here and you see these moving little by little, they're scrolling zero to seven pixels right there and that's what this is doing it's subtracting them and it's scrolling them well for each position the right is going to actually subtract them while the, the left is going to add them and that's how that works and this is the um, this was the animation i was trying to do for the sprite pointers where it was going to change the shifting of the player and i could show you real quick if i just go in here and i switch out like one of these to where's that Right here. If I change this something to like 36, I think it is. Now just close this and rerun this. Or recompile it. Now when I move, oh, maybe I got the wrong one in there. I thought it was, it was 37. Well, I was going to show you the other sprites, but I can't seem to get them to load right now. Anyway, we'll just leave that alone for now, I guess. So anyways, that's what that's doing, is it's controlling the sprites, or the, the shape, sprite shape. And then the next thing here is we're using the left movement. The left movement is kind of very similar. Like I said, you just add with carry to get the pixels. Oops, I need to run it again. To get the pixels to run the opposite direction. So if we're going to the left here, the pixels are going to move over this way. And you see this add with carry, so basically it's moving them this way. And if you go right, it's subtracting them. And this is for, this is where I do all the, the graphic drawings. So if you see this up here moving right here when he's moving at the top of the screen and this little wall is moving, this is just drawn in the screen memory colors and stuff. And this extra space is just drawing a line all the way across the screen. This was where I was trying to implement my own maps, but I couldn't get them to work yet. Still working on that. So I have a different algorithm I'm coming up with that right now. And in addition, this would show at the top line. If I turn this on, it would probably turn on the top line, but I think it it starts affecting the raster beam and it messes up the display. So I turned that one off for now until I can add some other things into it, I think. Oh no, there it is. So you see it at the top of the screen there. Okay, so it's not. It's just another part of the scrolling routine you could add to it. And then down here, this is the ground, so this will change whatever the ground is if you change this number to any things over here. If I change it to 157, for example, you'll see that ground underneath him change. 
a nice a little line there just like what's over here okay we'll switch that back and this is the Y routine this is what I was trying to do I was trying to explain to you earlier um, let me just run this again I'm gonna move this over and show this to you so right here right here in the Y routine where you see this load map Y this is going down here inside of our map and it says basically starts to reading this line if you see 157 there in the map it's going to show that character that I just put up earlier and it's going to scroll through I'm trying to get it to scroll through like a whole section and it's kind of moving as he goes into different areas and stuff like that and try to get the background to change into but I haven't got that working yet still working on that but that's what that section is doing there if I can get it to work that's what I'm my plans are for it at least and I think that was essentially it right there yeah that's it right there so what I'm doing is here is I'm actually scrolling um, five lines here so I was trying to get it to scroll or scroll over like five different characters here and, and shift them over and it puts them in these positions right here which is all the way over in this corner so as soon as I start moving again, right there, it would be put over there somewhere. So I haven't got it working yet. But I wanted to show that to you guys for now. So let me know what your comments are. Um, hopefully we can maybe eventually evolve this into a full game. You guys have asked me for a long time. Here, I'll, if you want to see it full screen there, I can show it full screen too. Well, I think it's looking, it doesn't look bad, I guess. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to go ahead and put in for this video for now. So... Please like, subscribe, I appreciate your guys' feedback, and look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a good night. And this is Steve Morrow signing off.